For this build you need the 3D print parts out what STL files you find in the video description below and lead stripes recommended warm white. Having those we can start building. First cut the lead stripe to the right size. After that stick them to the 3D printer part. Now we have to solder lead stripes together. This was actually a pretty long process so I ran the time lapse. And the final result should look something like this. Now it's time to install the connection. This is 3D printed thread what slides into the flash input. This is exactly the same connection what is used to connect an external microphone to the camera. To connect this to the light I use a bit glue and 3mm bolt. Now it's time to take out our voltage regulator. Originally this is DC motor speed controller but in this application this works exactly the same. First we connect the wires and then we glue this to the place. We glue this speed controller upside down because this is just designed like this. Now we have to use 3mm bolts to close the cover and we are almost ready. Now we have to glue one final piece to the light. This thing prevents light moving backwards and sides or actually I'm not sure 100% why it is there but it looks cool. And now finally the light is ready. We can attach this to the camera and give it a quick test. Actually this is looking pretty good and this works as it should. Beautiful. Thank you, thank you. One thing what I want to mention more is this, that the button is exactly right place. This is so comfortable to move with my thumb while recording. Actually when you wanna buy something like this, the professional light I mean, then this can cost you a couple of hundred dollars. Uh, but this build cost somewhere around five dollars maybe, so it's totally worth it. And even if you are watching in AliExpress something cheaper, this is still thirty dollars maybe. So I can say this build is totally worth it. And I believe that the cheaper ones works exactly the same as this one right here. I actually pulled this light because I need this to improve my videos. And here is one example. When I am building something there all the times are some dark shadows where the light cannot get through and you actually don't see really well what I am doing. But this example here shows that when I turn this light up even 25% I think this is, this kills all those shadows and you see really well inside this box right now. And even if somewhere are complete darkness, I think actually this is pretty reliable light because, uh, well, you see on the screen. And when I am recording my videos and something are printed out with black filament, then actually th this is also pretty difficult to record and the details are getting lost. So these lights help me again. To make this a bit more beautiful, I cover the wires with black hot glue. And this video is not over right now at all. We are 3D printing new parts and we are building something more. My plan is to build something like this, two grip steadicam. But before we start building I wanna explain the camera connection. 
I am not using screw there, I am using uh, fast lock what is same on my tripod. And I messed up here, first it was too tight, then it was too loose, but I was creative. I am using this fat double sided tape to make this more thick and now my camera is not going nowhere. This is 12 mm aluminium rod. Actually the assembly is really easy. You just have to push this rod to the holes. The point is easy, but actually physically this is a bit difficult because the fit have to be really tight because I am not planning to use any glue. Hammer is in this situation your best friend. Now I am marking where the second grip have to be. My camera screen have to open, but I don't want this to be too far, so I find the perfect spot. I cut the rod off camera because I am thinking this is not most interesting thing to watch. After that install this same way. And here this is. I think this is pretty cool. This feels extremely solid and I am not afraid to drop my camera at all. Those things what you saw today will have extremely much use while I'm making new videos. Actually I'm thinking those are most useful things what I have built in this channel. But I'm thinking this is it for today's video. Before you go, ask yourself, did you like this video? And if the answer is yes, then maybe you wanna leave the like for this video, hitting the subscribe button and maybe even turning the notification bell on. This will support me a lot and I am planning to make these type of videos more and more in future. And here is a little spoiler for the next video. But this is for the next video. So right now, bye.